we're going to do first, we're going to spray this with degreaser to get uh, a lot of the dirt off before we apply our rem removing gel. So I'm going to take this area and apply the RS degreaser. And it will do a thorough job of cleaning all the residues from the trees and the air pollution. We're going to let that set there a second. And then I'm just going to wipe it off. This is an unbelievable cleaner. You literally, if you've got a power washer handy and ready to go, you can spray this on and let it set a little bit and react and it'll debond the contaminants. In this case, be just your grime from your trees and spray wash it with the power washer and take it all off and not have to do any rubbing. Now for the purpose of our test, I'm just going to take off a section of this just to show where we are applying. And we're going to apply our gel to this area right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove all this paint that's flaking off. And there may be a couple layers. We may just take it down to the primer. See what it'll do. Okay, the next step is simply we're going to apply some of the RS gel. High viscosity so that we can, it'll stick to the surface, vertical and overhead surfaces for removal. This can be done with a brush or a roller or high viscosity sprayer. The main thing is just gets good smooth even coverage. Enough thickness that, to give it time to react and penetrate the paint. As you can see we tried to get a nice even coating of gel. And you can see that some of the rust and the loose paint it's already starting to react just after putting it on. But we will uh, apply a covering now since it's an early spring day and the warmer the temperature the better and faster the reaction time so we're going to take and cover a, with a piece of black plastic. Okay. Okay, we've had a little rain delay so we've left this on a few more hours than normal. Had some pretty good storms. But now we're going to take the cover off. And there's what she looks like when you see it's debonded. It's actually just peeling off. Now if we had a pressure washer, you could actually take that and take a pressure washer and take that off. But what we're going to do, since we don't have a pressure washer set up for this small area, I'm just going to take and run water on it. That will help debond it. And then I'm just going to take a light scrub brush and take the paint off. Just pressure with my finger and see what she does. See it peeling? Now with a pressure washer, you just have it totally peeled off. And I'm going to take a brush to this. And with pressure, it would peel all these little spots here that it, maybe we didn't have quite as much chemical on. They are debonded, but I may not have got them covered good, so let's rinse it for the test. And like I say, we got into a, a rain and a hailstorm after I'd applied this, and a lot of our top gel was brought down and run down into this, and you can see where it went on down below our boundary and debonded that. But because we had a rainstorm and a colder temperatures, the total reaction time was not as complete as what it would. Otherwise, it would be down to the bare steel, just like these areas right here that had reacted before it ran off. But there was at least two layers of paint on this, plus the primer. And it also has worked on most of the primer. But that's just an example of what it will do. And if it would have remained 80 degrees or more, it would have, it would have all been down to bare steel.